Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, I am in my garage. It's, uh, uh, right now we are in the middle of a winter snow blizzard. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check out uh, my solar panels and clear off my driveway. Uh, but here is what I have to deal with when uh, I'm trying to use solar during a blizzard. So first of all, let me show you um, exactly how many watts of uh, electricity I'm getting from my solar panels right now. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'll do a screen recording too, but as you can see, yeah, it's, uh, it's zero. Zero watts coming in right now. I have not looked at my panels yet. So we'll see what the what condition they're in. Uh, they are ground mounted. Um, they're probably completely covered in snow. And so I will I will try to clean them off as much as I can and then we'll do another screen grab to see if we're producing any electricity at all. All right, uh, I have not looked outside yet. So um, let's go ahead and uh, and take a look. Okay. Well, as you can see, it is uh, it's snowing pretty hard. It's supposed to be like this all day. Um, and so I'll be I'll be needing to come out here multiple times during the day to clear off my solar panels and clear off this driveway. Let's go check out my solar panels, see what we're dealing with. Yeah, as you can see, they are completely covered in snow. Completely. So I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna clear these off, and then we'll see how much electricity we produce after that. The, the snow is coming down so hard that as soon as I clear them off, we might get like 20 watts and then it'll be zero again because it'll be all covered up. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, I just started clearing my solar panels and here's how much snow was on. I don't know if you can tell, but that's my hand. Uh, there's probably about probably eight or nine inches of snow on these panels. And the panels over there, they probably have eight or nine inches on the bottom with about two inches on the top. It's gonna be a lot of work, but we'll see if, uh, if I can get them, if I can get any energy out of them once I, once I clear them off. So we'll see. All right, as you can see, I just cleared off one 800 watt section and now I'm getting 40 watts of electricity. So if I clear out the other section, I might get 70, but the snow is coming down so hard that I just cleared this off. I used my snow blower to make a path. And you can see that the panels are already starting to accumulate snow on them again. These ones, these ones I still haven't uncovered yet. But, um, I'm guessing that once I get these cleared off, those will be covered in snow again. So, but I want to keep them cleared off because it's supposed to snow like this all day. And what I don't want to deal with is double the amount of snow and it being frozen. So it'd be a lot harder to get off. So I'd rather come out here a few times during the day, clear them off, maybe get, you know, barely any electricity, but at least my, my panels will be easy to clear off every so often. So that's kind of the deal, but yeah, 40 watts, 40 watts so far. Not bad, 40 watts for this, for this weather. All right, just got done clearing off the panels. We're getting 100 watts right now, but I'm sure as we sit here and watch it, uh, it would drop and drop and drop. So I'm basically, this is gonna be my, my gauge to uh, come back out, clear the driveway, clear the panels. When this drops back down to zero, 
Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. It could take, I mean, it's already down to 98. And that's out of 1600 watts for the panels. So, of course, you know, we're not going to get, we're not going to get much out of this. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you later. Uh, the time is, I think it's like, not like 10 after 9 right now. So I'll let you know the next time I need to come out. Okay, I just got done shoveling my driveway. And as you can tell, by the time I got done, the drifts are already starting to uh, cover up the driveway again. So let's look how much we're getting from our panels. Three watts. We're getting three watts. So let's go check them out. Take a broom. Oh God, okay. Yep, they're all almost covered over again. So, uh, yeah, let's sweep them off. Oh, Jesus. So much. So much snow. All right, all the pails are cleared off. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. 128 watts we're getting now. Uh, 77. Oh, 123. The MPPT is probably just trying to find the best PowerPoint. So, heck, I'll, I'll take that. I mean, my battery's at 76%, but. You know, the reason I have this is to make sure we don't get have something in case of a power outage. And this is prime power outage material right here. So well, that's seven after ten. So it's been an hour since the last time I swept them off. Okay, so I'll see you soon. All right, welcome back, everyone. It is uh, twelve oh eight, and right now. We are getting about 16 watts worth of uh, power from the solar panels, so we're gonna go out there and wipe them off again, and yeah. uh, and see if that makes a difference. It might not be a big difference, and it might it might just one second later it might be covered in snow. Okay. Let's wipe off this panel. Look how deep this is, guys. Yep. So deep. Look how far that is. Wow, guys. If, if you were me, it would be d even deeper in the video. Okay, let's see how much we have now. Let's turn the phone back on. Oh my gosh, Keats. What? We have 280 watts coming in now. That was worth uh, wiping those off. So maybe our percentage of our battery might go up and maybe, maybe a half a percent or something like that. So, okay. Well, yep. It's uh, now 12, 12, 15 and Keats and I, hi, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Keats and I are going to play in the snow. So we'll see you in a bit. All right. Hello everybody. Welcome back. It's uh, the next day. Um, I decided not to do any more uh, shoveling and, and and sweeping for the day so let's check out the solar panels um, I can tell you right now that the uh, yeah the solar panels aren't producing anything I still have 52% left but uh, right now they're not producing anything so I'm gonna go out there again let's check them out and then I'll uh, I'll let you know oh jeez yeah yeah this is what you have to deal with when there's you know eight to ten inches of snow on the ground then you get drifts and you have uh and you have ground mounted stuff so 
I'll, I'll get back to you when I, I get this all done and we'll see what kind of uh, what kind of solar production we're getting for a very very overcast but bright day so I'll let you know all right okay well I'm done panels are all clean I would show you the uh, the numbers but my other phone is well it's frozen so it won't start up I'll post the numbers on top of here but this really is just a glimpse of what you need to do when you have ground mounted solar panels when you get 8 to 10 inches of snow if you all like this content please subscribe if you have any questions please leave a comment and if you like this video please press that like button it really helps y'all take care